We are live. Oh, welcome, everybody. Welcome to my conversation with the fabulous Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Thank welcome. you so much. Jill, I'm so excited to have this conversation with you. We haven't seen each other for a while, so we just had to spend a few minutes having a quick <laughs> catch up, didn't we, before we yeah, jumped on? Absolutely. Uh, would yeah. you like to introduce yourself and let everyone know who you are and how you help people? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name's Jill Carney, and I'm the Intuitive Energy Alchemist. And I love working with uh, empaths, uh, coaches, and healers, really helping them to declutter their mind, declutter their energy field, their homes, and their businesses. So, really helping them to create more space uh, to live the life that they love. Uh, because from this place, of course, we all show up differently, don't we? You know, for ourselves, for our loved ones, and for our clients as well. Um, and that way we can get out there and make our big impact in the world. Yay! I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's so exciting. <laughs> um, so I know we've worked uh, together for a while <laughs> outside of social services, but also yeah. Jill and I go way back. So for anyone who doesn't know, how long have we known each other, Jill? Oh my gosh, it's got to be 20 plus just years. I think it yeah, is. I think. <laughs> yeah. So in one of our past lives, Jill and I worked together in social services, didn't we? Yeah, absolutely. I was your your person to go to for human resources uh, advice and uh, guidance. Yeah. Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, so we have known each other for a long time, and um, and then we worked together when you were leaving. Had you le you'd left, hadn't you? Anyway, had. tell everyone a little bit about, you know, your experience with, I guess it's the journey of like, how did you come to doing the Helix Method? What was your, what was yeah. your reason for doing the Helix Method? Absolutely. So I, um, I got to a stage where I knew that I needed to get out of what I was doing in terms of um, 20 plus years in HR, uh, in the public sector. I was carrying a lot of stress. I was carrying grief still from my mum. She passed away um, very sadly when I was little. Um, and I just got to a stage where I knew I was going to go pop and I just needed to get out. And we had yet another change program. As you know, we have change programs year after year after year. Um, and I was able to take redundancy and got very excited and then got really stuck. Um, <laughs> I just had no clue what comes you know, what comes next, what comes after mm -hmm. HR. I knew that that's not what I wanted to continue doing um, at that stage, that I wanted to do something different, but I just felt so unenergized and stuck and motivated. I was trying to uh, apply for new jobs and I just, my heart wasn't in it. And so I knew I needed some help with it. Um, and at that point, you happened to come into my feed, <laughs> as you do, <laughs> um, because you were doing a masterclass. And um, so I joined one of your five day masterclasses uh, where I got a little taster of energy kinesiology and I just knew that I needed to do something more with you. And at that stage you were offering, it was an old group coaching program, uh, Your Impassioned Life. So I signed up to that for 12 months um, and learned how to use energy kinesiology for myself. And that was a game changer. So I started to feel, so, well, I actually started to feel, uh, we were having a conversation <laughs> about this earlier. I, I literally, like many of us, had pushed down my emotions and my feelings. Um, and so I didn't really feel very much at all. Um, and so doing the inner work and releasing some of that stuff that was stuck, the grief, the stress and the worry and all of that, um, started to mean that I was well, I was able to feel again um, mm -hmm. and then that became really uncomfortable as well um, so my my clear senses kicked in I had a bit of a, a spiritual awakening I wouldn't say that before I was religious or spiritual in any shape or form um, but I had uh, a, an event where I literally um, I felt my mum's presence and I smelt her perfume and I just felt her with me and I hadn't had that before and I just knew from there kind of things started to shift uh, and my intuitive gifts then suddenly just kind of started to go through the roof, really. Um, so I'd loved that. And then I knew as I was setting up my own coaching business, I knew that I wanted it to be more than just box standard coaching. Mm -hmm. I knew that I needed to do the energy work with it um, because it had made such a huge difference in my life. And I could see that it was going to make a huge impact for my clients as well. 
Um, and first off, I trained with you to do the Acacia Records because I got a full on body yes for that. I just knew without even knowing really what the Acacia Records were that I needed to do that. And then as soon as you launched the Helix program, I just knew I had to jump on that as well, because for me, really empowering my clients to have the tools and techniques that they can use for themselves is amazing because that's, you know, that's what I loved. That's where I started. Um, and then I can be your energy ninja in your pocket, if you like, because I can really <laughs> help find the, the hidden sneaky things um, and, and to do a bit more with that. But that's really why I jumped on it without even necessarily appreciating how much was involved in the Helix method. I knew I was going to get the energy kinesiology. I knew I was going to get probably more than that. Um, but I just didn't realize, I don't think how, how much I was going to get. There's a real breadth and depth of the training that just blew my minds. And I was still finding then an awful lot of stuff that I thought I'd got rid of, uh, just using plain old energy kinesiology, but no, <laughs> different, <laughs> different levels of, of um, belief and what have you that I just mm -hmm. even appreciated before. Uh, and so it kind of felt like I was going back to day one, if you like, and starting all over again, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, so definitely I could see that the Helix method was for me and for my clients. Um, and I've just loved using it on a daily basis for sure. Oh, I love it. You mentioned about the the the, the training and the and the depth because uh, I am a I've got my, my moon is in Virgo. <laughs> so I like to get things as organized as I as I can. Um, yeah. And uh, what was your experience of, of the training then overall when you're kind of casting your mind back to, to the Helix method? That's definitely definitely very well organized. Um, I, I love your um uh, your membership site anyway it's just very easy um, because I had some other um, stuff that I needed to, I could access there so you've got a dashboard it's all in one place but the actual training itself for the helix method um, there is so much there and it covers all sorts of um, different things depending on your learning style as well so of course I think about that from an HR perspective but you've got your videos you've got the um, the documents that you can download and work through um, and you've got your lives where we would have the master classes and we'd do practice sessions there, which was amazing. And um, that really was useful and get feedback from people on that. Um, we would have access to I mean, just the fact that we've got three programs that we can take off the shelf and use um, straight away if we wanted to with the love codes, the health codes and the wealth codes is amazing. Um, and going through that ourselves and, you know, with others in the group uh, was really, really good. Um, and I love the fact, of course, you've got the Facebook group as well to support um, with that. So we could ask any question there or on the live calls um, and that we could get practice partners there volunteering um, to practice outside of the normal class times as well. Um, so great stuff there and even still so two years on it's really lovely so that we can share any questions that we've got coming up so if I perhaps have got a new client or coming across something that I've not worked on yet I know that actually I can just pop a question into that Facebook group and there's somebody there who will have done it before or will at least be able to answer questions in terms of a great place to start um, yourself but all of the other um, mm -hmm. lovely ladies that are in there as well so it's it's like a, a a real kind of helix family if you like in terms of that support is available for for us all so um that's been really welcomed for sure oh i'm so glad that that you value that because i think that's one of the really important things because you can do a training program but you don't know what's going to come up whilst yeah. the training program and of course as you get more confident more complex you're going to attract more complex cases to you <laughs> Absolutely, uh, and that's where you might need that additional kind of hang on I just want to check in on this you know what would you you have done what's what's the what exactly the it, it really makes a difference and and the fact that so for us I was part of the um the first cohort if you like and um I'm very proud that I'm the second uh to have been accredited uh, as an advanced helix method mentor um but you you kind of enabled us to go through the program again um, with you. So not just once, but we got to do it twice, which meant that we were already getting clients at that stage. Um, and of course, you get more more questions coming up as you're actually using it with other people, don't you? So you don't know what you don't know. Um, so yeah. you gifted us that extra time and that extra support, which was amazing. Um, I don't know anybody else you know, that would necessarily have done that, um, but it made a huge difference to us as we were learning um, and as we were starting to use it. And the fact that I've still got access to, to all of that and to the group to ask those questions. Yeah, it's, it's totally invaluable. 
Oh, I'm so excited to to hear that because for me when I was thinking about setting it up I was like right what do people want well they want to get going quickly so that they yeah. can you know start to be offering this to the clients which is right right how can I set this up and I was like having done the business coaching for so long I was like this is what slows people down when they're starting their business is creating the programs <laughs> yeah. um, if they're if they're newer and so being able to have programs that you can kind of just pick up off the shelf and and run with or if you've already got, you know, more established in business and you've got your programs, you can bring these in and slot these modules into whatever you're already offering. So that was like, oh, I was like, OK, people can get going quickly. And then for me, just so important to have that ongoing support so that you're not yeah. left kind of thinking, hang on a second. I've never dealt with this before. <laughs> Anybody else out there? <laughs> so you've got exactly. That, you've got that it just support. gives you that extra confidence for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Awesome. So I'm sure everyone's wondering, you know, because you've uh, worked with so many people now, what kind of would tell us some of your highlights, some of your favorite results, the kind of yeah. results you've had with yeah. your clients so far? Lots of different things, really. So I, I tend to find that I attract all of the empaths and highly sensitive people um, uh, because uh, I am. Um, <laughs> and um, so uh, I think a lot of people learning how to cleanse and clear and protect their energy um, has had a huge impact on those people that I've taught that to, because many of us, when particularly when it first happens and we're starting to feel everybody else's energy, um, it can feel really off-putting. You know, you can want to go away and hide and be invisible um, and to not put yourself out there um, with your business or your career and uh, to have people to say that actually it's just enabled me to, to, to physically go out into the world, to, to go and do the networking, to go and do the live, to have the confidence to do that and to know that I'm not going to be taken out by somebody else's energy um, has been, you know, a big one. Mm. Um, Another was a client who has literally transformed her relationship with her mum just by doing the inner work. So uh, had never heard her mum say that she loved her before. And then after doing the inner work, she now says that um, her mum will say it all the time. You know, every time that she's leaving her, if she sees her in person, every time she's coming off the phone, the last thing she'll say is, is how much she loves her. So that's yeah goosebumps <laughs> um, goosebumps wow. yeah it, it kind of it, that's made a huge difference in in both of their lives just by her doing the doing the inner work which has been amazing uh for others it's been um health type stuff uh so i had one client that was suffering with real pain from endometriosis um and it turned out that actually she had absorbed pain from somebody else um and she'd been supporting somebody else through sadly them um leaving this world and it was it was a way of holding on to that person without realizing that that's what um they were doing and uh holding on to their pain feeling like they needed to to have that so to be able to to release that um so that she wasn't having the pain um that was a a, a big one as well for sure that so lots of different huge. results so huge um, I just think it's so exciting when we're able to start to help people in this way when we can think it's something you know we get all this information don't we programming from outside around why we have um, got a certain health condition but it's not always I mean of course we can manifest it through that but it's often yeah. so often the the unseen stuff that has been lurking away you know creating these these conditions that the emotions the thoughts the beliefs the experiences the trauma that we we've, we've held and yeah. I think you know I see this as we elevate our frequency any if we haven't addressed the underlying underlying causes of these conditions whatever they may be like you were saying with your client with the endometriosis is if it's left unaddressed it, it manifests as 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 a health thing yeah which is why i've got the health codes in there so that we can help people even if somebody doesn't identify as a as a healer or as a as a type of coach saying i, I don't do health yes <laughs> actually we all do even if you think you don't because our consciousness is in our body and it's our body's intelligence and as we are ascending vibrationally our body's going to want to purge the density and then that can then manifest as a as a as an illness so that's mm -hmm. why just to kind of speak to that is that we've got that focus around on, on the modules around de-stressing the body and the etheric templates you know that are in our in our aura so that we can um let go of the 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 health crisis the health condition and actually see that as a gateway to to, to healing because that true healing occurs as we shift 
those memories, take out that energetic charge around those memories, the thoughts and the beliefs um, mm. so that we can elevate beyond that and continue to rise. And as we do so, that's when our manifesting just starts to uh, get faster and faster. Yeah, and it was great because I would have said that I'm I'm not a healer, you know, that I I wasn't going to be working with anybody that had health conditions and what have you. Um, and it just happened to be that that's what she came and, and presented me with. Um, so it was, you know, I could literally take the health codes and walk a step by step through the, the first part of those, at least. Um, and then also see where my intuition took us as well, because you know what these sessions are like. They're very intuitively guided, aren't they? Yeah. Um and yeah, so it's yeah, really powerful stuff. Ah, oh, this is this is so huge. And I remember you were saying as well, actually, about the bit about being able to release health patterns, not only, you know, just from sort of what's been going on in, in your current life, but past lives and family members. Yeah, exactly. So uh, a, a big one for me was um, was the worry about breast cancer. So my uh, my mum sadly um, had breast cancer and, and passed away when I was little with that. Um, and of course, that meant that not only did we have our, our own worries and fears about um, having that ourselves, me and my sister, but we had other family members that were projecting those worries and fears onto us as well. Um, and I wouldn't have known any of that at the time. So I could actually go to the root of that. I could could kind of rid myself of other people's energies and projections and fear and what have you but I could also do um the generational patterns and release it at a cellular level as well so um I was able to do a, a lot of good healing around that to know that I'm actually I'm um, okay and I'm going to be okay on, on you know with that regard yeah. that's yeah. so freeing to be able to have that like the skill and then that knowing as well because you know you've done it yeah yeah absolutely and and it was funny. So I I, I was sent a, a letter for a mammogram um, because I you know when I first uh, had a scare myself, um, this was before kind of doing the helix stuff. Uh, I was then uh, required to do a, a an annual mammogram, um, and I just knew I didn't need it. I and mean, I went for it, but it was all fine. Um, mm -hmm. and, and some of that will be part of the programming as well, isn't it? In terms of knowing that you need to or think that you need to do these things just to show yourself that you're okay. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I I just know that it's all fine. Oh, Jill, I'm so I'm so happy for you. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So how do you I think you've touched on this a little bit, but if, if there's anything else to add to how you use the Helix method, you know, in your personal life and in your and in your business? Yeah, so um, I use it for both. Sure. Um, daily. Um, <laughs> so I will um, I, I'll use the from a personal perspective, I use the Helix method. Um, when I get up in the morning, I cleanse and clear my energy. I check in to see if I've got any resistance. So I've got a bit of a, a routine, shall we say. I use the manifesting um, tools and techniques um, that we learn with the Helix method on a daily basis as well. Um, and then I support my clients with it as well. So um, whether it's with my, my Facebook community, um, where I kind of take people through stuff for free or the paid for stuff, um, you know, I, I will use the Helix method as part of that. So even when I'm doing a one-to-one -one consultation in the Acacia Records, the Helix method still comes into it. So there's always um, some gold um, that I can take from the Helix method to use with the Acacia Records as well. So I love the way that it just blends so easily um, and you can use whichever element that you need from it. Um, so whether that's the, the, the kind of the color healing or um, cleansing and clearing our auras and, you know, meridians and all the different things. There's just so much in there um, that I utilize. Um, and then I've been using it. So I'll use it in my group activations for the Acacia Records as well. So um, whether that's with a kind of a personal attunement or a business attunement or the energy of your home, um, I will incorporate the Helix method as part of that. Uh, and then I've got a manifesting bonanza come up which is a, a, a workshop um, which we'll be using the helix methods for sure uh, and then I'm getting ready to launch a group coaching program which will incorporate the wealth codes so super excited about that and uh, as I start to develop that and see where that's taking me uh, for sure oh Jill I'm so excited for you and your clients this is so Thank exciting you. oh yeah. What would you what would you say to someone who is thinking about certifying as a Helix Method mentor? Because I'm sure there'll be lots of people that are watching this because uh, because they're thinking about it. Yeah, I would say just do it. So um, you may be like me and you just know that you're you're in and you and you want it. Um, and then I would say follow that nudge, follow your intuition, listen to that. 
Uh, if you're feeling that there's a bit of resistance and you're unsure or you're feeling like you can't make a clean decision, that it's just diving in to see what that resistance is, it's taking that away and then you can make a clean decision whether it's the right thing for you or not. But I would definitely say you won't regret it. There is just so much value in there um, that just, you know, both from your own personal work in terms of on yourself, uh, but also with your clients. Um, it's yeah, it's amazing. So I would definitely recommend to, to look at that and to jump in for sure. Oh, thank you for speaking to that, Jill. And you mentioned something and I touched on this with uh, at the end of my conversation with Mandy as well around how resistance can bubble up. It can yeah. bubble up, can't it, whenever we're making an, any decision? <laughs> Absolutely. It really does. It's sneaky as well. So you don't necessarily know what it is, but it just feels like there's something there. Yeah. Um, or we can. Yeah. If we, and we find this when as people are really learning the art of questioning in the Helix Method program, um, because you truly will get the answer that you're asking. So if you haven't kind of recognized that there may be resistance coming up to the result that you want with whatever the decision might be, is that yes. you can get misdirected from your muscle testing, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, yes, you want to clear any of that so that you're making that clean decision um, and know that it's the right thing for you and for your highest good and, and path and purpose for sure. Definitely. So there's some questions that I can pop below this for anybody who perhaps hasn't caught my conversation with with Mandy's, because I know that people are going to go, I'm going to go muscle test <laughs> whether they are going to join the program. And absolutely, you know, I would recommend that so you can make an aligned decision for you. But what happens is, <laughs> as Jill's been mentioning, is that so that you can make sure you get an accurate answer. Um, and your subconscious isn't you're not actually just reading the resistance if that makes sense there's yeah. some things that you want to clear before you ask the question if this is in your highest you know next step so um what you can do is to be able to align your levels of consciousness then make sure you're in your heart space to clear the resistance before asking the question is this in your highest interest as your next step so you may want to ask things like and saying that you can say this as a statement or as a question. So I have got resistance to doing this, the Helix Method certification and you'll get a, a yes or a no. This is a one that uh, Jill said, Kate, you mentioned to me before we jumped on live that the, the, the one that can come up for people is this will work for me or um, this won't work for me. It's going to work for everybody else except for me. Um, and that can be part of like a behind a fear of uh, a fear of failure. So you could also muscle test saying this will work for me. And if you get a no, then you know that that is your subconscious is thinking this won't work for me. Always giving you that reason to keep you to keep you where you're where you're at so that, you know, you don't change anything because it doesn't want anything to change. <laughs> yeah, I found that's a big one for clients for sure. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So if you muscle test, this will work for me. If you get a no, then you know that you want to clear this belief that this won't work for me. But you can say it as this will work for me. No, um, I have got resistance to investing money in myself. That can come up a lot for people. Um, I've got resistance to having the result I will create in this, the Helix Method certification. I have got a fear of failure creating resistance to becoming a Helix Method mentor. Can I clear this resistance? And then uh, when you're good to go, I'm so you can say it like this. I'm ready to release this resistance to becoming a Helix Method mentor and having more success in life. I clear this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. And we invite you to repeat it out loud once and then twice internally. And that's so that you're staying in the frequency for longer. You're creating that vibrational shift. And then ask, is this next step in my highest interest? And then you can align to being confident in your decision making. So you might say something like, I'm making aligned decisions for my highest interest and I allow more success in my life. And I receive this across all dimensions, lanes, times and levels of consciousness. And that's going to help you make an aligned decision. So I hope that, I hope that makes sense. Um, so we'll pop those those phrases below the, the, the chat for everybody so that they can in case they're trying to write them out. <laughs> I'll pop them in the comments for you so you don't have to, to try and scribble them all out so you can follow along with that. Jill, thank you so much for all your love and contribution and for sharing your experience so generously with everybody um, here today. I so appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here and um, I definitely love it so much. So if anyone has any questions and wants to reach out, then I'm happy to answer any questions as well. So just let me know if so. Thank you so much. And thank you everyone for joining us in this conversation. 
if there's any questions as well, just pop them below in, in the in the chat and we'll circle back and answer them. And of course, you can always reach out to me in Messenger as well. Sending you all loads and loads of love. Thanks for joining. Bye.